All right, man. Thanks for tuning in to another one of my videos. Uh, we have a Easy Go TXT 48 volt cart. I just wanted to show you the most common problems that we're seeing on the Easy Go 48 volts, and a couple of things you can test. Uh, real simple. Uh, sometimes if the car don't run and you don't hear a reverse buzzer when you put it in reverse, uh, one thing to check. It's on the back of your charger plug. You got this port right here. You'll take it, unplug it, and run this wire to the main positive. That will bypass the circuit inside the charger plug, and the car might run. Just cut it off and hook it to the main positive. And then if you don't have a reverse buzzer before, you should have one now. And another common, common problem we're seeing is uh, I can't even plug the damn thing back in. All right. On your solenoid here, you got your post, big post, big post. This is your, this is your battery wire that comes from the main positive, and your yellow wire which feeds your key switch. Actually, it comes from the key switch to that. It ties in the harness from the controller, feeds the key switch, and comes back to this post uh, where they can bind the wires at. They're bad for uh, corroding due to the dirt you see down there. So you want to put your voltmeter on DC voltage. You want to touch the main, always touch the main positive, make sure I'm getting connection. 51 volts. And you see right now I got the solenoid, the yellow wire on, and I got no voltage. I'm going to turn my key switch on. And same post, I got battery voltage. Turn the key switch off, and I have nothing. We got battery voltage. If you don't have battery voltage there, you can run your wire just for the time being to see if this is a problem. Run your main positive down to the small post here where the yellow wire is at. And that will, if it runs, then you know you got a probably a key switch problem or wire going to your key switch or coming back from your key switch. Um, and another problem we're having is your itch. If, you're, if you got reverse buzzer and your solenoid don't click on your plug coming back from your floorboard here, your black wire, your white wire, green and red. Your green and red or your micro switch wires. And you can see inside the red wire, you should have battery voltage with the key on. green wire is your return from the pedal box right here and then um, your white wire which is your from your it's black wire as your white wire should read 15 volts all right with the key on 
and your white wire, your black wire, which is your return from the pedal itself. Get a good connection. Matt, come here. Right there, I got 0.97. I got the black lead on main negative, red lead, and the black wire. I hit the gas. It's in neutral. Hold it, hold it right here. Oh, you get a glare hold it. You get a glare on this. Hold it right there. That's the gas. Hold on, hold on. I get it. Hold on. Don't hit it yet. I get it. Re All right. Hit the gas slow. You put, make sure you put the car in the neutral with the key on. Hit the gas slow. See how it goes up. Keep on, keep on. At full pedal, you should get five volts. Actually, excuse me, 2.93 volts. That's right. Thing about a club car. That's how you check your hits. Um, just simple test. You can check at home. Save you some money. Save you a headache. That's the most common problem is what an intermittent TXT 48 volt is. Charge the plug. Wire is going to the key switch and a bad hits. Uh, all right, man. Stay tuned. I'll make some more videos. If y'all want some, send me requests and I'll try to make them.